Okay, uh, Dr. Ron Cutler, Director of Biomedical Science Degree Programmes, Queen Mary, University of London. And Tess Clark, Marketing Manager at Milton UK. Okay, so what we actually are interested in is looking at uh, the bacteria in the environments and different environments to see if they pose any uh, potential threat. So in this case, what we did is we looked at dummies which were brand new and dropped in different surfaces with, and dummies that were actually had been used by babies to see what sort of levels of bacterial contamination there were on both. Now, in the ones that were from the environment, we found that about 10% of them uh, became heavily contaminated after they'd been dropped on different surfaces. And strangely enough, um, some of the surfaces that were the worst for contamination were places like kitchens. Now, with babies, uh, what we found was, again, there was only about 16% uh, were either heavily or grossly contaminated. And of those, the types of bacteria were generally related to uh, the human gut. And how this reflects to, to parents listening today, there are um, approximately 812,000 babies born each year in the UK. So of those babies using soothers, up to a fifth of those soothers could be potentially contaminated with the harmful bacteria that Dr Cutler's referred to, which is a really worrying fact. And as a parent myself, I wouldn't want to be one of those parents giving my baby a, uh, you know, a soother with uh, contaminated with all these germs. And what we're really trying to make mums aware is that, you know, to keep their soother sterile and to be aware of where the baby is uh, throwing and spitting out their dummy. Um, as far as the dummies that had been used by babies, uh, basically we found this organism called Enterococcus faecalis. Uh, it's normally a uh, present in the human gut. Uh, one of the nasty things it tends to do is carry multiple drug resistance, so it's a, often an antibiotic-resistant bacteria, and it can cause urinary tract infections and gut infections. Well, we did drop it and drop these new dummies in several places in the environment. And surprisingly, uh, we found that the kitchen uh, wasn't a good place to drop your baby's dummy, nor were the soft play areas, probably less surprising. But uh, we would have thought uh, from our previous experience with kitchens, most kitchen floors are, are pretty clean. But in this case, something like 10% um, of the kitchen floors that we dropped the dummies on seemed to be pretty heavily contaminated. And uh, these were with organisms which could in some way cause food poisoning. Well, here at Milton, we recommend sterilising a baby soother up until the child's first birthday because a baby's immunity is uh, particularly low, around six months old, and it doesn't reach its full potential until later on um, in the child's life. So we really do recommend that for the first year, parents are vigilant and aware of the need to uh, sterilise their soother. Being a parent myself and then having a baby that's used a dummy, um, I know how much babies spit out their dummies and throw them. So it's really um, being aware that these is, this is a product that's constantly being sort of expelled from a buggy. And as it's got baby saliva and, um, you know, it's, it's a moist area for, for bacteria to harbour, when it's dropped, it very, very, very quickly picks up bacteria. And if the parent's putting that then back into the baby's mouth, you're exposing them to the harmful germs that we've spoken about. All you really need to do is make sure that you've got a, a sterile soother and we've got a handy portable device here at Milton. You can attach it to your buggy so you've always got a clean, sterilised soother handy to give parents the peace of mind that you're protecting your baby as much as you all want to do. We've got a team of um, experts here at Milton that are ready and waiting to answer any questions that parents have, both about the research and also just protecting your baby in general from harmful germs within the environment that we've spoken about. You can go to the Milton Facebook page and uh, post your questions there or get in touch with us and we'd be really happy to help and, um, and hear from mums.